Well, let's take you to Geneva now, where the World Health Organization has been giving an update on the outbreak. Guy Henderson is there and he joins us now. So, Guy, what was said then in the briefing? Have any new measures been announced today? Well, as always with these press briefings, it is the numbers, the latest numbers that came up first. I'll just give them to you briefly. 2,736 new cases. That brings the total of reported cases worldwide now to 28, sorry, 98,023. Very close now to that 100,000 mark. A couple of studies that the WHO have been working on uh, in recent weeks that they uh, gave some details of today uh, in the, the final press briefing of the week. The first, a research and development roadmap which they've released. So what WHO officials are saying is they're very impressed with the extent uh, and the acceleration of research and development into this disease. Things like vaccines, things like better diagnostics. And so they've now released this set of guidelines which is aimed at kind of directing all of those resources uh, and standardizing them so that they can complement each other better, essentially. Uh, secondly, um, they've also been doing some research into potential shortages of essential medical supplies. And what they're saying uh, is that there are no imminent specific shortages, that most manufacturers have backup stocks, uh, they have alternative places they can go to get their supplies. This, of course, was a, a very big worry because in the early days, manufacturing had pretty much been locked down uh, in large parts of China. Uh, it appears uh, that the feeling here now is that, that you know, those essential supplies running out uh, is actually less of a concern now than it was a few weeks ago, Hannah. Well, Guy, how concerned is the WHO over the way this virus appears to sprout in sort of localised outbreaks and it's very quickly with apparent ease? Has there been any more information about how it's transmitted? I mean, they're, they're pretty honest in saying there's a lot we don't know, um, but there is a lot that they are learning. And, and what, what the sort of consistent message at the moment is, containment should still be the priority uh, and that governments need to adopt this kind of whole government approach, not just dealing with the health ministries, but really integrating the whole thing um, through society. Um, you know, the, the early evidence is suggesting that perhaps this virus doesn't spread as easily as things like the seasonal flu, um, that it's not likely to be driven by people who aren't showing symptoms, which of course would make it harder to track. Um, so, you know, yes, those sort of spike in numbers might look alarming, but, but officials here are saying that actually could be a sign that countries like Italy, countries like Iran are stepping up their efforts, stepping up detection, uh, and that that shouldn't necessarily be seen as a bad thing.